Dear Roni Abovitz, it's been a little while since I've made a message. I sent a video to your team. Look, I know I probably come across as a very unconventional partner, but look, I just wanted to like, I want to lay it out. And I want to lay it out in just like two minutes, so hear me out. Okay, reality capture. It's an important problem in the whole augmented reality future. It has to be done right, it has to collect specularity, it has to collect color data in a very efficient way. Yes, it can be done with drones, yes, it can be done in a number of fa uh, fashions, but to w create a world-locked reality, like universe, in which like, I mean, it depends if we, you're probably leveraging all of Google's data, I would assume so. But like on top of that, I know Google has its own pure programs to sort of three-dimensionalize the whole thing. You are gonna create the interface platform. Now, look, important to that, you need a way, an authoring tool that is fucking slick. It, sorry, for, sorry to drop the, okay. I'm gonna edit my language. You need a platform that is going to be really usable. And it needs to basically allow, like the question is, Look, like with other platforms out there, other augmented reality devices that might be out there, um, that interface where of clicking, moving, look, like, I almost pat, I wanted to patent the snap click. I feel like that's important. Boom, I want something done. You guys should get on top of it. You guys are, see, there's a million patents I would have filed over the last like year if I had the money, but I don't. So kudos to you for having the money. <laughs> which is not a small thing. Like you had to do a lot to build Mako Surgical and the whole, I know, God, I can't even imagine the path you've been on. But I will say, given where you are, there is an immense opportunity to like, look, the whole infrastructure, the licensing system, for God's sakes, for goodness sakes, for heavenly light's sakes, the, the, the system which will enable um, the placement of three-dimensional objects, interfaces, cues, social cues, like wh who sees what, why, when, how. Those are all privacy settings. Those are all like, those are all part of the licensing system. That whole, like that is like a basic infrastructure. But to go beyond that, I mean, there's like, there is um, countless things on the, you know, the, like, I, I assume your visual systems are taking into account lighting sources, right? Like three-dimensionally. Like right now, there is some light right here. That is coming from the sun through clouds. But it has an illumination value. It has a location in XYZ space. It needs to get be delivering that quality of light onto the objects you're looking at in front of you to do true augmented reality in the future. So, I mean, I'm sure you're like looking into these like these systems. I threw down a lousy ass provisional patent like a while ago on some like random things I could find in this space, but man, I'm sick of trying to like feebly monetize what comes through my mind and sees in this space of augmented reality. Like it's a constant flow. And I wish I could just do it for you. Like I wish I could just do it for Magic Leap in a way. Like I feel like I'm struggling so hard to like peddle a product in this world of startups that I feel like that's not what I'm about. I'm about bringing like truth to reality in whatever way I can, whether that be through art, through the simple interaction of a person that I meet by chance that I'm supposed to, um, however that heavenly cosmic conscious light inside all of us intends it, I am on that path. And um, sending much love to the Magic Leap team, all you guys, I just thought I should send one more video because I feel like that last one, I mean, I took this like really... I realized I was almost like nervous to send the message because I hadn't like broken the contact seal in a real way and maybe I'm calling a lot more attention to it than I need to but it just seems like anyway I'm really self-conscious sometimes so I, I delivered what I wanted to say in a very self-conscious way without just getting to the like root of what I want to say which is a lot of like ideation space and like just touching on this sort of things like the physics of like lighting inside of a augmented reality world and all that like th this is just like literally the tip of the iceberg like there's so much that's been processing and I'm sure you guys like it's so late in the game I wanted to I mean I wanted to reach out so much earlier like and I just like I don't know I, I was too scared to or something like I don't know why which is dumb actually I tried over YouTube but it's like my comment got blocked and I backed off at that um, which is weird to me because Google invested in you guys. Why would they block comments on YouTube that are trying to speak to the creator? That t that movie, that TEDx talk, I had a lot to say about it. 
I did. And I left it in a comment. But when I logged in as another user, I realized that you couldn't see it. So I was like, oh, damn. I guess Abba, you know, Roni probably never saw it. But, or anyone there. Um, yeah. I guess if you leave too big, you have too much to say, it's worth blocking in this whole YouTube reality. I just hope that you know you are the kings of the new content. And I hope you use it wisely. I hope you do. Whether or not like I have any peace in it. I, I feel like the truest source of being that we are as humans, as this creative rocket ship. I love that you described what you're building as a rocket ship for the human mind. If I could take that rocket ship, I would. And I feel like I'm already on it. But if, I, if there was a way to actualize everything that came through, like, that channel, you know, that really clear channel, the, the clearer channel um, of imagination, like, the one that sees, like, a, a way that almost the path of physics, another realm of being in which, like, everyone's really free from... So, I mean, we're tr constantly trying to shape this reality. Like, look at the human mind. We're constantly trying to shape it. That's why we're surrounded by trash cans and, gra and graffiti, and we try to splay the art that is in our minds onto reality in such a crude way. But imagine if we could do it completely. Like, yeah, I see that vision, and it's freaking awesome. Like, I see the risks. I see the risks. I see where we can trip and fall. But if the human mind evolves fast enough, it's not going to matter because... Our true source selves are so creative that you're going to enable the unleashing of that. And through the unleashing of that, it's going to be, yeah, there's going to be some hiccups. Yeah, there's going to be some like awkward places, but those awkwardnesses will be overcome so quickly by the sheer velocity and power of human creativity. And uh, I'm really excited about that. So anyway, all my love, once again, Magic Leap team, send in a little vibe zone. Roni, I respect what you're doing and everyone that is enabling this mission. Everyone. It's so cool. Uh, I love the vision. And I think it could work. Like, we could do something real. Anyway, all my love. Derek out.